Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ones to Watch is coming to FIFA 23. Not that it was a surprise, we knew the promo was coming, but EA dropped the loading screen yesterday with the card on the loading screen. And that's what I want to start off by talking about today is the upcoming Ones to Watch promo. We saw a lot of market movements yesterday based off of the cards that EA posted and confirmed themselves. They weren't even leaked yet, a few of the guys that they posted. So we know now a bunch of Ones to Watch cards that are confirmed to be coming tomorrow and Friday. So I want to take a look at that, how the market moved because of that. Also, we have some brand new player of the month leaks for SBCs that we might see as early as tomorrow on Friday with a couple really, really big player of the month leaks. So I want to look at that and of course talk a lot about the market because yesterday was a wild day with on the market with a lot of player prices going up even further, but then some going down with EA putting more promo packs in the store. We also got our first ever team of the week uh, from a national game team of the week, right? They had some club or there's some country games over the weekend. And in the first of the week, they got dynamic images. So the first ever national team team of the week, dynamic images are sick. And I want to talk about the market today with rivals rewards as well. There's going to be a lot to talk about. We're going to jam it into one video today and the servers are going down in like 20 minutes. So I got to get this thing going. We'll make it not too long today for you guys. So if you're excited for once to watch, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you're new, let's start by talking about what is going on with this ones to watch promo and with these cards because EA posted these pictures yesterday showing Chameni and Rudiger from Real Madrid and Renato Sanchez. Those are the biggest three cards that were posted and confirmed by EA Sports yesterday. Renato getting a ones to watch, Rudiger, Chameni. Like EA's not leaving anybody out for this ones to watch promo, which is a big time GG. And especially because it is only a one week promo, you know, it kind of had to happen this way, but it's pretty insane still to see the cards that are released and leaked. And now, apart from, you know, the cards we have already seen, Schlotterbeck was confirmed by EA Sports, Tyler Adams confirmed, and Bergwijn. So three more confirmed cards there. There was a lot of market movement with some of these cards yesterday, namely Chalmany, Rudiger, and Renato Sanchez. A lot of these cards, since their gold cards would go out of packs, people went out and invested. They went out and bought these cards up, and a lot of them spiked for a couple, like an hour or so. And then they went down. If you bought Chalmany's and you sold this 13,000 coin range, GG's. Because I honestly think that might be the peak price that Chalmany reaches during this whole next time period. I know he's going to be out of packs for a week. But such an, a low rated card. A lot of people have invested in this. And again, he's going to even get packed more today with Rivals Rewards on Thursday. And with marquee matchups most likely coming out. So if you sold here at 14k, I think that was a really, really good option. Um, if you're still holding, he could go back up a little bit during the next week. But I think that was a really good idea to sell there in that kind of crazy moment of investing. If we take a look at Antonio Rudiger as well, I believe his gold card went up in price yesterday around the same time. Not as crazy of a move on him because, you know, he is definitely a higher tier card and people are going to make more coins off of a guy uh, like the Chalmany. Renato Sanchez kind of bounced as well. He went from 55K to 65,000 coins. 65K was the highest that this card has reached yet so far. This is a bit of a weird one because he's so meta. He's super crazy meta and so many people want to use him in their teams. There are going to be some cards that get into ones to watch. Of course, as we look through some of the leaked names that we've had already, Dybala is in there, Erling Holland, of course, people are trying to invest in his card, Gabriel Jesus, Darwin Nunez, Anthony Mane, Richarlison, Schlotterbeck, Lewandowski, and of course, we've already had the Di Maria, but so many people are starting to invest, and especially a guy like Holland or a guy like Dybala, and I would throw the Renato Sanchez in this list as well. There are going to be gold cards from ones to watch that when they go out of packs, they are so meta and so popular that people want to put them in their teams that their prices will continue to rise while they're out of packs. The case in point, number one example is Rafael Varane from last year in FIFA 22. His ones to watch went into packs on that first week. Varane's card, if we don't zoom into the graph, we can see it still, went from 320,000 coins out of packs during that next week. He peaked on Wednesday at 365K, so a 40,000 coin rise which isn't that crazy, but you know, for a card, again, like we were talking about with a Rudiger, a Holland, a, a, a Dybala, you know, and Anthony and Amani, like some of the higher tier cards that people are gonna be trying to upgrade to, their gold versions, that is. That's why I'm looking at a guy like Renato, and you know, even though it seems crazy with how much hype this guy has, he's got the PSG links, it's potential, there is potential for a card like Renato 
to continue to go up and to rise out of pack. So if you're trying to buy one of these and you want to maybe get in that bit of a risky part of an investment, watch for today at rewards because you might see an opportunity for cards to dip again with some tradable supply. And we're going to talk more about the rewards time frame today in just a minute. But I really think besides Renato Sanchez, if you're trying to make a buy for a card that is going to get a once to watch, I think that Holland is one of the safest plays out there. I think that Rudiger would also be a very safe play. Again, you know a lot of people are investing in this Holland. Yesterday, he spiked to 195K with the pack supply, went back down to 180, and then got bought all the way back up to 200,000 coins. Notice that his price range only goes to 220. I do think Holland is going to go extinct over the weekend after he goes out of packs because this guy right now is taking the game by storm. People say he is absolutely incredible. So that's just kind of something to note with these ones to watch cards. I'd be very careful if it's Anthony. I'd be careful if it's like Schlotterbeck or Richarlison's going to be an objective. So he'll, his gold card will still be in packs. Um, you know, even Darwin Nunez and Gabriel Jesus, I'd be a little bit more careful about these guys because they're lower rated um, and because there's more people that have have had time to invest in them over the course of the time frame that they've been leaked. Um, but for the higher tier guys like Holland, and Rudiger, like we mentioned, Lewandowski as well, those gold cards should probably rise out of packs as their ones to watches are in and their gold cards are out of packs. But ones to watch is shaping up to be a really, really insane promo. I'm excited for that starting tomorrow. If we get any more news today on Thursday, we'll of course talk about it uh, in tomorrow's video to gear up for ones to watch. But let's move on because that wasn't the only big news that we had from yesterday. We had some massive player of the month announcements beginning with Rashford. Rashford won player of the month. And you know what? This SBC, in my opinion, could be dropping tomorrow. If it is, if this award has been awarded, right? And if this has been tweeted out by Foot Sheriff, there is not an official picture yet of like Rashford receiving the award, right? But he's been on international break. These guys are, are coming back to their clubs. I would imagine that you would see a picture of Rashford with the trophy being announced tomorrow on Friday. If this is being leaked, a winner is chosen and they're about to give out the reward or the award, right? That's how I think this is going to go down. I am actually decently confident in saying that I think we'll see a Rashford player of the month tomorrow early in the morning, right? If you guys remember, a lot of times player of the month SBCs do get dropped early in the morning. It's like 10 or 11 a.m. UK time is usually when they put the SBC in the game and they announce it on Twitter and it's posted and everything. So keep an eye out tomorrow morning early for a Rashford card. It also could be later on the weekend. If you remember back to last year, we had the ones to watch Cristiano Ronaldo SBC and that actually wasn't dropped until the second week. Um, but since the voting has ended and since it's over, you know, I really feel like we're going to see this Rashford player of the month tomorrow on Friday. So that was the first big leak. And a lot of people responded to that by actually going out on the market and doing one of two things. Firstly, people went out and bought Rashford's card, I think, because they were just hyped to see him get a player of the month, which, okay, because Rashford's card went up a lot yesterday. Um, maybe it was just with the general rise of the market, but a lot of people started investing in fodder. And that's a very popular question when you look at this card. You know, especially if it's going to be a striker, which it could be because in the month of September, when he scored those goals and got those assists, he was playing striker for most of the time that he was on the pitch for Man U. He could be a striker position change card, which I think would make it very interesting for a lot of people and maybe even more in demand for some people uh, and in squad building and stuff like that. So everybody's asking about SPC fodder. And as you can see, after Rashford was leaked, fodder started to go up. Then we had the tradable pack supply from the promo packs that dropped fodder back down. And now we're at a really interesting point this morning on Thursday where we look at the fodder market and we're like, okay, if we want to actually invest in a few fodder cards, is there a time to do it? And is today with the tradable supply from Ravels Rewards going to be a great time to do it? I think honestly, Yes, because I'm not saying you're going to have some really crazy, insane rises on fodder cards, but if you can buy 84s maybe this morning for like as close to a thousand, 1.2, 1.3K for some of these guys that are in the Premier League, uh, as close to like 1.2K as possible, which is almost their minimum price. I mean, you can see that in Diddy went from 1.4 to 2.1K as people were investing, and now his price is back down. If you can get these guys at like in the low 1K range, whether it's for a, if, it, if you're investing to try to make coins, I would look for more of like the Premier League cards um, or maybe some cards that are English. A lot of people are asking about Trippier. 
yes, you could look there. Um, again, there is a little bit of a risk here because they could very easily overprice the Rashford SBC and make it not good value at all. But, you know, that's kind of the risk you take with investing in a leak or investing in an SBC before it comes out is, is EA going to make this a very expensive SBC that will be hard to do and there won't be as much hype for it? Or will they make it cheap and a lot of people want to go and do it? This card obviously would be pretty sick. Um, you get a plus two because it's a lower rated player of the month. So regardless, I think this SPC is coming soon. If you want to stock up on some fodder, I think today at Rivals Rewards or around marquee matchups, two different points of a tradable supply today. I think that's a great idea to do that on this game today in that time frame. Now, guess what? Rashford wasn't the only player of the month that was leaked. Valverde was also leaked, and this card could be absolutely ridiculous. His inform is crashing in price, and people are losing coins on that card because people saw this leak that he won player of the month and also shown as a right wing card. So they went out, and that's why his inform is down so much. If you had that card, if you were watching it, he is down a lot. As you can see, somebody in the comments here, Jake says, rip inform investors. Exactly, right? This SBC might be more towards the weekend. I don't remember them dropping, you know, it's very rare they drop two player of the months on one day. Uh, so maybe it's on a Saturday or maybe a Sunday type thing. We'll just have to see. But Valverde has one La Liga player of the month. And, you know, hopefully they give him a center mid position change on whatever card that he gets. But Rashford and Valverde, those are some massive player of the months right off of the bat in this game with great links and very OP meta cards that a lot of people would want to use. So again, like we mentioned with the Valverde card, I want to take a look at his inform because if you wondered why Fede Valverde's inform was down 30K, well, it points to exactly around the time when this card was leaked. He went from 150,000 coins down to 109, back up a little bit to 120, and he's kind of chilling out about 110. He is out of packs. He is an inform from Team of the Week 1, so he is a bit more rare. The only reason and the only way that I see this 86 inform going back up to this sort of price is if this card is like stupid overpriced and like I'm talking like if it's like outrageously overpriced, like seven or 800,000 coins or something wild like that, then a lot of people probably would not want to do it and they just go buy the inform instead. But if this SBC is a decent price, then you're probably going to see more people jump ship from the inform, go to the player of the month SBC, especially in the early game when, you know, a lot of your SBCs in the early game are decent value because fodder is so low and EA know that people don't have that many coins yet. So definitely keep an eye for that player of the month SBC coming soon. And the last one, which I think is pretty dope as well. People were really looking for Teo Hernandez, but this card looks just as sick to me. Napoli, Kim Min Jae, uh, very interesting links, right? You get a link to Sun technically, to um, Jisun Park, the uh, hero card. And of course, um, you know, a lot of good Napoli links as well with a brand new team of the week card for like Lozano in, in the team of the week on the left side, you know, really good chemistry options. This should be pretty cheap and he's going to be a cracked center back card. So Syria team uh, owners in FIFA are going to love this player of the month too. Hopefully all these drop soon because there's a lot of hype with those cards being released. Now we've looked at a lot of leaks. We looked at a lot of, you know, foot bin and stuff like that. Let's get on the market a little bit and let's talk about today with Rivals Rewards. Yesterday, we talked about prices maybe peaking and then potentially having some people sell off cards as we head into a big Friday tomorrow. And with the Rivals Rewards today, we, we might see a little bit of that as well. Um, again, with people getting rewards today, which again, as I mentioned in the beginning, they're, drop, they're doing maintenance here in like 50, actually like five minutes. Hopefully I don't get kicked off, but I'm not gonna be able to get the weekly reward upgrade. So I'm gonna have Div9 weekly rewards. Um, and a lot of people today are going to take tradable rewards. I would imagine that like nine people out of 10 would take that tradable reward because coins are so king at the early stage. People want to take the chance at having a few less packs, but, you know, getting something pretty insane. So what I do think you will see today on the market around the rewards time is a bit of a market drop on some cards. Just, I mean, hands down because of the supply. Anything that is in packs, especially the lower tier stuff um, more than others, probably going to take a bit of a hit in price. I mean, you think about our lower tier guys that we've been careful with over the past couple of days, like a Lacroix, like a Frempong, stuff like that. We're going to be really careful with those cards today. And I think this could be the beginning of the drop-offs from the, you know, peak prices that we saw for a lot of these lower tier cards. I would even, I would even say that Alan St. Maximin is in that boat, right? I mean, 40,000 coins for St. Maximin. Uh, he peaked yesterday in the early morning time frame or in the midday, I guess you could say. But I think it was like 40... Um, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at his card because he had a pretty sizable peak yesterday. Let me just search him up really fast on Footbin because I can't find him right at the moment. But 81 rated Allen St. Maximin. 
was peaking yesterday at the peak. A lot of the market peaked like right before content, 48,000 coins. I just don't know if this card goes higher than 48,000 coins at any other point, especially after all the supply that we're gonna have this weekend and stuff like that. Just watch out for the same maximum card. And I think it just might be the beginning of like the drop off. Remember, we looked at a lot of graphs before all of this started at the beginning of the year. And we mentioned that with the lower rated cards, they get supplied, 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 especially on the weekend of ones to watch. I just really think that this might be kind of the beginning of the end for a lot of these lower tier cards and their prices are gonna to start to drop off uh, for the ones that are gonna be in packs. So that's my word of warning. Again, if, if you're taking the coins on a guy like Zakaria, a guy like St. Maximin, maybe an 80, maybe even like Usman Dembele, I still think that 100K for him is too much. Maybe that's just me speaking, you know, out of nonsense here, but like 83 rated Korea for like 24,000 coins, that's kind of wild in my opinion. Um, and again, especially some of the lower tier guys that are like below 80 rated, uh, I just think that their prices are not going to hold up that well as we head through the weekend. So if you were making investments with those cards or you're not looking to lose too many coins from maybe a player you have in your team, just be careful with guys like even Adama Trere at 7K. I don't, I, I don't intend for his price to stay that high for too much longer. Those are the types of players that I would be careful with on the market right now. And I think today could bring more supply for them and maybe drop their prices down. Because like I said, not just our rivals rewards dropping today, but also we're going to be getting some marquee matchups uh, rewards as well. And this could be an investment opportunity for some of you guys. A lot of big games coming up this weekend. Um, and of course, the marquee matchups last week, you saw some prices move. I still think EA would make the SBCs pretty easy to get done, but it will be tradable pack supply once again. And people love tradable packs in the early stages of FIFA. So everybody's going to be doing marquee matchups today. Um, and of course, that's going to be the second part of where we would expect to see tradable supply. And I mean, even they could even drop more promo packs in the store today. Random Lucas Vasquez. Let me just quick sell him really fast. Don't need him. But they might even drop more promo packs in the store uh today on thursday as well this is it could be the third day in a row we had packs on um tuesday we had them yesterday on wednesday a little bit of a surprise and then um you know maybe today on thursday as well we'll just have to see so that's why i really think that taking the cash and the lower tier stuff is really smart and even some cards that you just think might be a little overpriced like i mentioned the usman dembele you know maybe there's some other cards out there that you're like nate i'm, I'm pretty happy with how this card has risen up so far um, as he had, as, as prices have really risen out of the web app period and stuff like that. So if you take the cash on any cards, you know, I don't hate it because again, we do have a really, really big weekend of supply coming up. Now, here's what I'll say on the flip side. If you have a guy like an Nkunku, if this is a card that's in your team that maybe you got for like less than hundred K before he went extinct, or, you know, you made a buy on the, a Messi or a Ronaldo at a pretty good price and you're making coins on them. These are the types of cards. I don't expect these guys to drop that much. Even with the supply coming, you don't have to worry about the top tier cards because if you think about it, so many people in this game are still getting to a point where they, they are trying to afford a card like this to just put in their team, right? Messi at 300K, Vinny at like 290,000 coins. You know, the, the Rudiger example that we had from earlier, you know, Ronaldo, Benzema, Neymar, those top tier players, hero cards. These are the types of cards that people are still buying to put in their teams. Uh, and you don't have to worry about these guys. They might drop a little bit with supply today. I bought a couple Benzema's at like 75K and he, he was at like 83, 84. You know, I might hold on to this until after rewards today because I think that people will also get coins from Rivals Rewards today, go out on the market and buy up some of these cards. So the, the market's going to be a really interesting place over the next couple of days, especially today and tomorrow, uh, because you're going to have a lot of supply, especially tomorrow. But it kind of begins today again, like I said, with rivals and with marquee matchups, two different opportunities for supply to hit the market today. And you're going to see a lot of movements because of that. So Felt like we kind of explained that well and talked through that well. Let's talk about Team of the Week here really fast. Uh, really awesome Team of the Week. Seriously, EA's done a really good job with Team of the Week thus far. And the best part that we love about this is dynamic images. We were not expecting that. Um, but I think the Team of the Week is a really solid one. Lozano with the position change to left wing. Also having the secondary position of right mid is nice. The Modric card is cool. The Marquinhos card hitting 80 pace is cool. Um, Ericsson, GG, Akanji, nice. Salah is a W. Havertz is okay. Chesney for a Juve Syria uh, goalkeeper is nice. Fofana is cool. Raspadori is decent. I mean, I think the team of the team of the week is really, really solid. Uh, and of course, this guy is kind of taking the game by storm right now. 16K, an absolute budget beast. 
And what this really is giving me is like, he's kind of like a budget Holland, if you think about it, right? Three star skills, four star weak footy, six foot three, high and average plus body type. Um, and he doesn't have that many traits, but he's got pretty high finishing, really high heading. And again, you kind of compare this guy to a Holland and they're actually pretty similar. And a lot of people are, I think, trying out this guy just because, you know, he's a card that most of us have never used before and his price is pretty cheap. So that's a W. Now I would say about this team of the week, I would not look to buy any of these cards today unless it's for a quick flip or you're just trying them out in a very short term window. All of these prices should drop further as we get into the weekend. Again, with all of the pack supply, all of the, um, you know, just opportunity for these guys to get packed during the weekend. I think that most of all these prices will drop a bit lower. If you have a card like Marquinhos Gold or Salah Gold that is out of packs, I don't like how close they are here. I mean, Marquinhos at 77K, and 89 Marquinhos, the end format, 213K. One of these is either overvalued or the other one's undervalued. I'm not entirely sure what I think yet, um, but I still think that 88 Marquinhos is probably gonna rise up out of packs. I still think that Gold Salah is probably gonna rise up out of packs as well because these are still cards that, again, people don't have a lot of coins to upgrade to, and it's probably gonna push the end form and the gold card of both of these up further as we head throughout the next week um, because these are both gonna be cards people want to upgrade to in their team. So I like those two as headliners in the team of the week. Modric is nice with Real Madrid links as well. A lot of Real Madrid love, you know, Valverde in form and a player of the month, a Modric card as well. You know, GG's to Madrid fans. You're getting a lot of special cards uh, to use at the beginning of FIFA this year. So that's kind of what's going on with the uh, with the game and the, with the market right now. It's going to be interesting to try to flip some cards today too. There's always going to be market movements around, you know, like I would really watch Akanji today. And I think I might've just gotten kicked out because the servers are going down. I think this might be the case right now, but you know, a guy like Akanji is going to be one of the most popular cards in the team of the week. And it's a brand new Prem center back. A lot of people are running Prem teams, and I definitely just got kicked out, and the servers are going down because this maintenance is happening at the moment. But just kind of watch some of those prices today. Watch your prices with rewards. There's going to be some downwards movement, but there also is going to be some upwards movement because when any, when every, whenever people get coins from rewards and from packs, the prices on the higher tier cards that people are upgrading to, they end up rebounding after the supply. So watch for maybe a dip with Rivals Rewards, bit of a spike afterwards, heading into 6 p.m. content, and then maybe a bit of a dip again as we have marquee matchups uh, coming after that. So a lot of market movement today. There's going to be a lot going on, and it's going to be a pretty exciting couple days on FIFA. So if you're excited for today, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We're going to cover it all live on the Twitch stream today. Check that link in the description and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys later. Peace.